Today, we're going on a trip. So, let's get it. So, hey everybody. Um, today, I'm doing things a little different. I'm sure most of y'all noticed we didn't do a video um, last week. And uh, Andy's going to be out of commission for for next couple weeks so it's going to be me and hopefully I have a feeling for next week um, for next week's video but uh, this week I couldn't get a feel in uh, kind of last moment, minute, minute situation so uh, figure we'd do something different I've been talking about maybe doing a video showing where we came from um, now most of y'all know that we do videos um, kind of strictly out of Bristol, Virginia, Tennessee like rating different food places and stuff but that's not where we grew up um we actually grew up about an hour from there and i'm gonna take you on that journey today and show you kind of a little place that we grew up in and and how uh what it looks like and uh, some of the tourists that come to bristol may not know about it so it's a nice little gym especially in the summertime if you like biking and and uh hike hiking and stuff it's a good place to go um and check out so we're going to take you on this journey and, and uh, show you a little bit where we come from. So, so hang on, let's go. So there's really only three main roads that enter this town that we grew up in, um, which I'm taking the interstate uh, 81 North to get there. Uh, it's the quickest way for me, but there's only really technically three roads once you get off 81 to get there. Uh, you can get on 58 or 91, and then there's a back road that usually don't a lot of people travel. Um, that's uh, it's like 130 route 133 or something like that. It's coming from Tennessee into uh, Virginia, which um, hits up Backbone Rock. It's a, a cool little place to, to check out if you're in town uh, and you want to go check out this this small town that we grew up in and um, maybe go like I said hiking or biking. Uh, also check out Backbone Rock, but uh, that's another road that you can take to get into this town. Um, like I said, three roads in, three roads out. All right. uh, there was never been, I think there had been one time a stoplight, and that was, was taken down like two months because it don't make sense. You can blink your eyes and miss this town. It's pretty small. Um, I think the population's less than maybe a couple thousand. I don't know. It's not. It's not very big. I haven't checked the population count in a long time, but it's it's not very big. It's it's grown up a little bit since when we were younger, um, but it's it's still it's not a very big town. So you can blink your eyes and miss it. No need for a stop uh, stop light or anything like that. But it take me about an hour to get there. It's an hour from Bristol, just about. Um, so if you're down this way and you're staying somewhere, it's actually a pretty place to stay and and uh, uh, for like a hotel, like well, we've got hotels, we've got more like bed and breakfast kinds of things in there. Uh, but it's a really a pretty place to to visit and stay overnight. So take us a little bit of time to get there, but uh, yeah, hopefully it won't be too long. And show you a little bit of a town we grew up in. on right now is actually uh it's actually 58 it's running from happening into the town that we're that we grew up in where, where we're going to um since so as long as i can remember i think up until i was like 16 maybe it was a two-lane road um but they started a project and it took them 
yeah, I, I want to say it took them probably 15 years. I, it might not have been that long, maybe 10 years to, to well, about 10, 11 years to um, widen this road. I guess they f figured if they could widen the road up that they could get more people into this town. Um, but it's a Saturday. And you see a few cars whizzing by. There's a I'm looking at rear view mirror. There may be two back there. There's two in front of me. There's not a lot of cars on this road still. And it's a four lane now. Um, I mean, they did a good job. Was it necessary? Probably not. But we're almost there. It's not taking as long as I thought it was going to. Uh, this four lane did speed things up quite a bit. Um, I think for the most part of it, it's actually 60 miles an hour through here. And then until you get closer to the town and it slows down to 55, well, when it shortens back down to a two lane. Um, but we're almost there, getting closer and closer. All right, guys, that's where I'm at. I'm actually in my hometown I grew up in, Damascus, Virginia. This is, uh, you see background cars going by. This, I'm actually sitting in the first Baptist church that I kind of went to a couple times when I was a kid. Um, but as you can see the ride in, small little town. I mean, you blink your eye, you kind of miss it. I'm gonna sit back a little bit this way. Very small town, I mean, kind of busy right now because there's a lot of people that come in for riding bikes and stuff and you may have seen them on the video people just going down the <coughs> trails there's an Appalachian trail that goes um, actually up that way uh, kind of connects into it uh, through the mountains and then the creeper trail that runs um, I think it's down uh, it actually connects to this this side too it connects back through here uh, behind the Damascus pool it comes down in through it but uh, it goes up on top of White Top Mountain, which you can't see from here, but you can see some mountains, but it's actually up kind of that way. Um, that you can get actually from to Damascus that way also. Uh, that's actually 58 that comes off the mountain, comes down. 91 comes in from um, Mountain City, that's the other location. And 58 takes you on back through uh, to Abingdon, which is the road that I came down through. 
You'd actually also take a 91 uh, to Glade Springs. We'll get you into Damascus also. The other route that I was talking about, and I may take out out that way also. Um, maybe not. I'm not sure. We'll uh, we'll see what time I got today. But uh, Backbone Rock, I think it's Route 133 or something like that. Maybe I think it signed out here it says 716, but I'm I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but that's the other route that you can get to. It's a windy, curvy, small road that can get you here. It uh, takes you out to Shady Valley, Tennessee, um, and it connects into. I think connects into Abingdon also. So that's the other way you can come in, but there's not a lot of ways to get in this small town. Growing up here, it was, it was actually a lot more peaceful than it is now. Uh, we didn't have the biker, um, trail bikes and stuff, riders in here. Uh, the only thing that really was running this, this town was a lumber mill when I was growing up. And when it shut down, they didn't have anywhere else to go. So, but uh, yeah, so this is, this is Damascus. Show you a little bit around town. Okay, guys, I'm actually down here by the river that runs through. Actually, right behind me up this way. That's a place you might want to stay when you come down through here. It's actually the Damascus Old Mill. Um, has a bed and breakfast in here. So if you get a chance to come down through here, that might be a place you want to stay. It's right here on the river right here. And you might be able to see a little bit more of what you might see here. Sometimes you may get some decent fishing down here too. You never know. This is, might be a place you might want to check out. Well, here I am. Actually, I told you I, was, I might drive out to. This is, you see over here, this is Backbone Rock. Uh, this was actually built a train tunnel. It's where the trains used to come through um, back in the 1800s. I don't know. I, don't quote me on that. Um, I'm sure it probably has a thing over here it says or whatever. But uh, you can actually hike to the top of that and, and uh, look at the overview of the scenery and stuff here and there's some trails out behind me where I'm where I'm kind of looking out right now and there's actually there's a hidden if you park on this side of the road and go back that way there's a hidden falls area that's actually kind of cool and if uh, it's been raining a lot which it has been you can go back there and hike up and check out the uh, little waterfall they got back behind here but there's trails that go up through the hillside up through here um, and then back that way if you want to get on top of the rock you can go up that way or go through the tunnel and uh, it's back around that way. You can get on top of the rock and uh, look down and see everything. But I'll tell you what, if you are tired of the heat, especially in the summertime, this is a really good place to go because it's about 10 degrees cooler than the uh, surrounding areas. I grew up trying to figure out why it was always cooler around here and now I understand why. Um, at least what, I'm trying to figure out why I didn't seem like it was that hot and then now I understand why because it's so much in a, a valley and and shaded but it feels 10 times better than it does in bristol right now so yeah if you uh, want to come out here i think i can't remember what that um that route is I, like i said i thought it was like 133 or something but the other sign says something different um but when you come through damascus it say uh it'll show, have a sign say backbone rock or shady valley turn towards that way and it's ride it out you won't miss it it ain't here about maybe a couple minutes down the road but yeah, there it is, Backbone Rock. Well, this is pretty much it, guys. There's not a whole lot to Damascus. There's a few places to eat. Um, what was the lumber mill has now turned into the only uh, grocery location in Damascus, which is the food city. I think Quincy's has ended up turning into a bakery. The Minidette, I think, is now a drugstore. I'm not 100% sure. Um, there's a few little places to eat, like diners and stuff. Not a whole lot anymore. Um, mainly if you, if you like biking and hiking, this is the place to go and you want to keep, uh, get away from the heat, then this is a uh, good place to go. It's, like I said, five to 10 degrees cooler just in Damascus than the surrounding areas. And then if you go up on wide top, it's probably another five, 10 degrees cooler up there. Um, again, if you like hiking, that's a uh, fun place to go or uh, look at the scenery. But this is where we grew up. Like I said, the lumber mill used to be right there. That's now the food city. There's an apartment complex up there, which is our house used to be over on the other side of the hill. Um, from that, the middle school right behind me, 
our high school is actually over on the other side of that hill over there that I, I went to high school. But this is where we grew up. This is where Southern DNA kind of started for us. Um, playing in the woods, hiking the hills, uh, fishing, swimming in the, the little creek or river, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's mainly a creek. It's not really a river. It's too small to be a river. Um, before the bikers got here, I mean, we had Stamper's Furniture. It's now a, an out, uh, or a biking outfitter place. What used to be Al's Hardware is now an outfitter, uh, hiking outfitters uh, for the Appalachian Trail. One time, one, uh, one pretty much a one week of the year, uh, this town grows into thousands more for Appalachian Trail days, um, which didn't happen this year because of the, the virus that was going on. But this is pretty much it. This is what we, this is where we came from. This is where we grew up. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the little scenic uh, tour that I took you on today. And hopefully I'll have someone to join with, with me next week. Like I said, Andy's gonna be out of commission for a few weeks. Um, so hopefully I have someone to join me next week to fill in. And maybe the week after, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But uh, we'll catch you next time. Let's get it.